Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. A little bit ago, I touched on globbing and all the wildcard characters that come with it, and the general consensus from you guys was more brackets, more parentheses, more symbols. So I'm obliging your popular demand by giving you another type of text pattern called regex or regular expressions. You wanted it? I'm giving it to you. I only had to like asphyxiate myself a couple times during the process. Brought to you by Untangle. One of the things I grew to love when using Linux was how robust the searches can be. You may have played with grep, find, locate, and more. Well, regular expressions allow you to match and manipulate a text pattern that you set. It's super powerful if you're a programmer, but also if you're a newbie. Regex will help save you a lot of time because it allows you to easily search through walls of text. Whether it be config files or all the words in the English language, regular expressions will help you match patterns, replace them, reorder, or split them up entirely. Here's an example. Starting with something that most everyone has by default in Linux, the dictionary. We covered ranges when we were talking about globbing, so check out my previous video to learn globs about ranges. I know, I'm so punny. But what if you don't want something to show up, like if you're playing a Scrabble equivalent and have a Q but no U? If you start a range with a caret, then you're saying that you don't want to match anything in the range, like this. Hmm, these aren't very good Scrabble words though, they're all proper nouns, so let's say we don't want the first letter to be a capital letter. This is where regexes get confusing. If we use a caret outside of a range, it means to match the beginning of a line. We want to filter these results out more, so how do we do that? We can use a pipe to send the output to grep again and filter it out. A pipe uses a vertical line as you see here and is a way of chaining together commands. Lo and behold, none of the results have lowercase letters, so let's do a range to only R to prove that it works. Bam! Now we're going to do a dictionary search again, but we're looking for a specific word. It's four letters and it starts with a B. The period is the wildcard in this case, representing any one character. Use the dollar sign and it will stop the search at the end of the line so you can get only the droids you are looking for. Moving along to our results, there's a damn apostrophe. That's not a Scrabble word. Let's fix it with extended grep because regexes weren't complicated enough. Type in grep dash capital E or just make it easier on yourself in egrep. Whoa, more apostrophes, but don't worry, these are good ones. They act as quotes so that bash doesn't get as confused as well. We are right now. All right, so to translate this crap, we're now looking for all words that start with B and have three letters following it. What the frack are those curly braces doing here now? Well, that's the fun of extended grep now, isn't it? But why curly braces? As it was explained to me, one day some magical Unix sorcerer decided to pluck two bits of his neckbeard, put them around the numbers, and proclaimed, let this be repetition. So to get back on task to the distant Scrabble metaphor, let's say I only have B's and O's in my title conglomeration. I'm grepping for words that only have those characters between the start and end of line. And we can cue the victorious music here. All that for only one boob? If you haven't smashed your keyboard into oblivion right now, let's learn some grouping. I have an archaic video on the find command, but it's still relevant because find hasn't changed much since that video or my birth, really. I have a ton of files here and I only want to find certain types, let's say only mp4 and mkv. Extended grep to the rescue. Just throw that sucker in quotes and parens, then type the extension you want to look for separated by a vertical line and the line and you're good to go. If you feel like you've suffered through all this alone, fear not, there are plenty of other masochists just like us who have posted their sufferings on regexlib.com. And remember this piece of advice from JWZ. Some people, when confronted with a problem, think, I know, I'll use regular expressions. Now they have two problems. I hope that my explanation about the anatomy of regex benefited you a little bit and maybe you can use it in your own situation. What kind of use cases do you guys have? 
Let me know in a video response below. And until next time, thanks for watching OSALT. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. And kitties, of course. How could I forget? I used to work at a large TV network, which shall not be named, but the only thing they used to protect themselves was a dinky little piece of software that was never updated. <sighs> they should have had Untangle, a complete multifunction firewall and internet management application suite. Their software is installed in 30,000 organizations and counting, and they can help your company too, no matter what the size. Whether you're replacing an old UTM, gateway, firewall, or even if you need a virtualized solution, Untangle does it all with no persistent sales agents or hidden costs. It's quick and easy to try Untangle before you buy, and they even have a demo on their website so you can play around with it before you commit. And if you just want minimum protection, there's the light package, it's always free and open source. But if you want something more intense, the premium package offers a full featured solution where you can control bandwidth and applications with advanced web filtering and more. And just for watching OSALT today, I'm giving you a free 14 day trial of all the Untangle premium package apps. And we'll save 20% off the list price with the promo code OSALT. Just visit untangle.com slash OSALT. So a UDP packet walks into the bar and the bartender doesn't acknowledge him. What, I haven't done jokes in a while. Oh, that's a microphone.